What you see here is a rare breed. <laughs> <laughs> you might be thinking, well, she looks like a pretty standard woman, half population of female. So what's rare about that? Well, let me tell you what's rare about me. I'm a woman on the tools, a tradeswoman. I do up people's properties for a living. Now, that makes me rare because in this day and age, even in 2020, literally 2% of people on the tools are female. That makes me pretty rare. And I intend to do something about that because I know there's a massive gap in the market for more women on the tools. My customers have loved me for 30 years, <coughs> so there is a huge need for more women to do this job. So what I intend to do is set up Tools for Life Training Academy where women can come in a safe environment and learn all the trades, carpentry, plumbing, electrics, tiling, and just build a whole team of females. They don't have to go the standard route of going to college where quite often they'll get frozen out because it's like 30 guys in the room and one woman. And the sexism starts even at that point, before they even enter the, the, the employment market. So the other thing they're going to learn at the um, skill centre is mindset and marketing. So when they leave, they don't even have to try and go and get a job in their chosen trade, carpentry, plumbing. They can go self-employed, which is brilliant for women to become self-employed. It can fit around their other commitments. And so, yeah, and then the other thing, on top of that, once they've done their training, if they don't want to go self-employed, I then want to set up a building firm, which will be all females. So that's great for the women, they can just go to work, do their job, go home, no headache of running a business. And then customers will know where to find us tradeswomen, because right now customers don't even know we exist. So what I'm looking for, well I can use the clicker, oops, oh, oh no, give it away. What I'm looking for is the equivalent of a dragon from Dragon's Den. So somebody that has the business acumen that I currently don't have to bring this project to life. Maybe funding to get the project up and running and Maybe a property that we can use, because that would be an ideal place if it's an empty property that we can use. That's an ideal training centre. And somebody that is equally as passionate as I am about changing the face of the industry to address the gender imbalance within the construction industry. And so where us tradespeople, us tradeswomen, are no longer the exception with a norm, and we're no longer a rare breed amongst the herd. So if you're interested, I would love to hear from you. Thank you very much.